Hi, and thank you for being here. So today I'm going to be creating this lovely thing behind me. Now, for a while, I wanted to do the neon sign, and I always thought that they're very complicated to do. And it turns out they're not. They're not, and I'm going to show you how to do it with what I think is a very small budget. But before we go, please subscribe, like, and share to my channel. It helps the channel. And I'm also going to link all of the items that I'm going to be using in this video down below. Thank you. Let's go. So to start off, I'm going to take one of the canvases that I'm okay to paint over. And I have a napkin. By the way, you don't need to have this kind of napkin. If you do, great, but you don't. You can paint this on. But I'm going to do a very basic decoupage right now. So what I'm doing is separating the napkins into three pieces, laying it out to see what kind of composition I would like, separating the layers because napkins usually have at least two layers, and you just need the top layer. Taking the Mod Podge, first you need the Mod Podge layer, pretty watery, and then nicely placing the napkin on top, making sure that there are no air bubbles, and with the brush that again has Mod Podge, you can even put Mod Podge on top, from the center out to the edges, glue the napkin onto the canvas. Make sure that there are no air bubbles so that the surface is flat. So we have three areas where I did the Mod Podge, and now I'm just making the rest of the canvas black. That's why I didn't paint it over before, because I knew I'm going to be painting it black anyway. Getting the sides, and now with the white acrylic, I wanted to have different kind of leaves. So over here I'm doing palm tree, like a different palm tree leaves. First white layer, because then when I'm doing the turquoise and blue on top, and I'm mixing the two so that I get kind of in between turquoise blue color, very pretty. The white was so that we have, so that we see a brighter color underneath it, because painting on black is pretty, it's going to be very dark. So now that I have the colors down, I'm going back again with black, uh, sharpening all of my edges that I kind of roughly painted, and also adding the black texture on top of the leaves. This is done so that we have a bit of a moodiness happening in this painting. I do want the number one thing to be the neon sign, and this is uh, the painting in the back is more of a kind of like a backdrop. So over here, doing the details on top of the actual napkin that I had with paint, and now with black paint, black acrylic, I'm going in and I'm adding a bunch of splatters. Now I'm kind of concentrating the splatters in two corners. You can choose whichever two corners you would like of the painting. Usually it's best if they're kind of diagonal of each other. So that's where the uh, splatters are saturated the most. It just gives it a bit of an interest. And again, the moodiness of it, I think I reached really nicely over here. Love this. Now here's the star of this video, the neon sign, the neon string, <laughs> neon effect wire, that's what it's correctly called. I found this at a dollar store, uh, we have Dollarama over here in Toronto, this was $3 or $4, I don't remember. It has the actual wire, the neon wire, this thing that you put the batteries in, batteries are not included, so those are IKEA batteries that I just had from before, I place them in. Test it right away because we want to test it before doing all this work. Untying the wire and oh my god, it looks amazing. Yes. And this is only during the daytime, right? So during the nighttime, it will be even more amazing. There are three settings. The continuous glow, um, in, in and out type of glow and very fast kind of blinking almost. Then there's a strong wire and a smaller wire that used for a bit of a different purpose than what I'm going to do right now. With the soap, what I'm going to do is draw the outline, like I showed in the picture over there, of the mouth. Now to start of the project, I'm making a hole in the canvas with a little manicure scissors. Now after making the hole, I realized that the best thing to do is actually make sure that I have enough wire to go around for all of the lip kind of drawing that I want to do and it actually turned out that I had exactly to the amount so make sure whatever you want to do that you have the uh, wire enough wire to do or of course get two wires 
So here I am glue gunning. So this is glue gun time. I was surprised to learn that you can glue gun these things, at least according to the YouTube videos that I've saw that do similar thing. Now do use very little bit of the glue gun because you really don't need much. And that's of course to make sure you don't burn yourself. And that's also to make sure that the wire survives and it doesn't, you know, you don't ruin it basically. So I am slowly going all around. Notice that I tried my best so that the wire doesn't intersect. So it's only one way. Now, when I get to the end of the lips, I realized that I cannot really go back. So the best way I thought was to make another hole with the manicure scissors, uh, feed through my neon wire and make another hole. This is where the wire will come out from the back. And of course, when you flip to feed the wire into that hole, this is my solution of for areas that you do not really need to have the wire. And now I'm going back with the glue gun, same idea, just glue gunning this. Final glue gunning. And over here, another hole. This is so that we hide the rest of the wire and it's kind of nice and smooth and seamless. So what is left to do at the back is we have this uh, battery case that I wanted to glue gun to the canvas so that it doesn't kind of flop around. And there was this kind of uh, clip that the back of this device had and uh, it was actually, uh, I was able to unscrew it and that gave me flat surface to kind of fasten this item to the back of my canvas. Now make sure the batteries are in and make sure that you can open that case if the batteries when they run out. Now for the big reveal, here it is, looks amazing. I love how the painting turned out. I love the combination of the painting with the lips, very tropical, very cool. Uh, the one before was with the light and this is where the light is almost off, even more beautiful, even more mysterious. I absolutely love this project. I will make sure to link to similar kind of uh, neon wires down below. So check that out. And of course, please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoy my work because that helps my channel to grow. Thank you so much, bye.